Hi there and welcome to my channel. Today we're talking about five top trends for 2018. I'm going to talk you through five trends that I'm really excited for for this year and I'm going to show you a few pieces that are already making their way onto the high street. If you're new here, my name's Gemma. I post a couple of videos a week, uh, mainly fashion related, but in particular I have a love for beautiful, feminine, elegant fashion. So if that's your passion too, then please do subscribe. Now the first trend that I'm really excited about for 2018 is big bright beautiful bold paint box colors it was shown on the catwalks of Versace and Philip Lim Calvin Klein and it was a trend that was around in 2017 and it's going to carry on through to 2018 and I'm so happy because I love color color has such an impact on your overall image so it's about experimenting finding a color that you feel confident in so I'm really happy about this trend. So the first thing I found was this gorgeous pink suit, which is such a stunning color. But if pink's not your thing, there's every color imaginable available on the high street. I found a green coat, which will work really well over florals. And also from Karen Millen, I found this bright yellow biker jacket, such a strong color. And I really thought this red frock coat from Zara was stunning as well. This pink dress is from French Connection. I love the style of this and it's a great length too. And I'm glad to see that Bardo Stops are still making an appearance this year. This blue jumpsuit is from Coast and I absolutely adore this colour. And if you don't feel comfortable in bright bold colours, then you could just add some accessories like this bright yellow crossbody bag, really brighten up an outfit. And pencil skirts are also big this year and this red one is from Zara. Now the second trend, which is in complete contrast to the first trend of the bright, bold paint box colours, is pastels, and in particular lavender. Now I can't actually remember ever owning or wearing anything lavender, so it's a trend that I'm quite excited to try, and I'm looking forward to seeing what comes through onto the high street. If lavender doesn't suit me, you've got that whole colour spectrum of colours, strawberry pink, vanilla yellow, uh, lemon sorbet, I mean it's making me hungry just thinking about it. Lilac's just seeping into the high street and I found this cable knit jumper from Zara which looks really cosy and in fact they've got a fabulous pair of lilac shoes on their website as well. And then there's spring yellow tops, this was from ASOS and this gorgeous pastel pink top from Reese which I thought was so stunning. Also from Reese was this jumpsuit which I thought was really stunning, really elegant and another one from Zara is this pink crepe jacket and it also comes with matching trousers as well and I absolutely love a suit. This is one I think I'm going to be buying. I also found these boots, these are from Topshop in a lilac shade and it's also got this plastic heel which is a big trend for shoes. And another jumpsuit which is again from Coast in this really soft blue shade which I thought was really pretty. But what a beautiful colour palette and it's just going to be so feminine and so elegant for the spring and the summer. Trend three is embellished shoes. We're talking beads, we're talking feathers, and we're talking opulence. Now, coming through onto the high street already are these what I've found. Some feathered heels, which are just feathered enough to make them not over the top or look like fancy slippers. Now, I had to show you these. These are not high street, these are designer, but I just thought they were fabulous and completely sums up this trend. Pink with all these fabulous embellished beads. I just thought they were stunning. Pricey too though. Embellished heels look fabulous and these are from June, really stunning. And these boots are from Zara, covered with embellishments. And this little pretty pair of pink sandals with again some feathers on the top. Subtly done so they're not over the top and again not looking like a pair of fluffy pink slippers. Trend four is side slits. So we're going to be seeing a lot of tunic tops with the side slip, but also skirts and trousers as well. So revealing just a little bit of leg or a little bit of flesh with not too much, so keeping it classy. Already on the high street, I found this beautiful jumpsuit, which I'm really, really tempted to buy. It's got beautiful wide leg trousers, which is also going to be another trend for 2018. And it's got this large side slip up the side. I found this red maxi dress, which has got the slip up the front. From French Connection which will be lovely for the summer and this trouser and top combo is from Zara obviously you can have them separately but they've both got the slits 
with the slit sleeves and slit trouser legs as well. So I think it's gonna be a big trend. And finally, trend number five is dark tailored denim. And it's a trend we haven't seen around for a long time, so I'm really excited to see what comes through. Shown on the catwalks of Nina Ritchie, of Fendi, and this look here by Tom Ford, which I love. I really hope this feeds down to the high street and we start seeing some tailored structured denim jackets. I couldn't find a great deal of dark denim on the high street just yet, but what I did find was this little jacket. It's not fitted or tailored particularly, but it's in that dark shade that's gonna be really, really popular. And this skirt, which I thought was really nice, Great length, it's got a slit up the side, so combining two trends in one. So I can't wait to start seeing the trends start filtering through to the high streets. Let me know what trends you'll be looking out for, what you're most excited for. If you're looking for more fashion videos, then check out my recent hauls up here. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.